Hi friends, welcome to the study of the next river after Narmada that is the second important west flowing river that is the Tapi river. The Tapi river, again this is the river which flows through a rift valley but it flows from the, it flows from the, sad, to the south of the Satpura ranges. While flowing, now the Tapi river originates in the, in the, from the Tapi river which originates from the Satpura plateau. It originates from a sacred tank of Multai in the Satpura region and then it flows and drains into the Gulf of Cambrian. So, river Tapi originates in the, it originates from sacred tank. at Multai in Betul district of Madhya Pradesh, in the Betul district of Madhya Pradesh. It originates in the, from the sacred tank of Multai on the Satpura plateau in the Betul district of Madhya Pradesh on, in Satpura plateau. on the Satpura plateau. Now this river because it flows similar to the river of Narmada, this river, this is the, the topmost river is river Narmada, this is river Tapi or Tapti, this river is also known as the twin of Narmada. It is known as a twin of Narmada. It is known as the twin of river Narmada. River Tapi forms the boundary between Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra and it forms a boundary between the Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra and flows between the Satpura ranges and if you remember here we have done one range which are known as Ajanta ranges. Forms a boundary between MP and Maharashtra it forms a boundary between MP and Maharashtra where it flows between between Satpura and Ajanta ranges it flows between the Satpura and the Ajanta ranges. So these are the important things about the Tapi. What you remember? Tapi is a river which flows through the Rift Valley. It flows through Rift Valley. Which direction it flows? It drain, flows in the western direction. After flowing into the western direction, it will drain into the Gulf of Cambay. It will drain into the Gulf of Cambay or the Gulf of Khambat. It, it is known as a twin of river Narmada. It flows to the south of Satpura ranges, between the Satpura and the Ajanta ranges. And it forms a boundary between Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. Now, you don't have to remember many tribute, any of the tributaries of river Tapi because these questions are generally not asked in the examination. So, but at the same time, you should, if you want, I will give you two smaller rivers which are the tributaries of Tapi. You remember the river Betul is one of the important tributary of river Tapi. So, Betul, river Tapi originates in the Betul district. Remember, one tributary of river Tapi is river Betul. Is river Betul. River Betul is the one tributary of river Tapi. Now, open your atlas and see this part of India. That is the Gulf of Kutch and the Gulf of Cambay region of India. 
take out your atlas and tell me which are the rivers which drain into the gulf of khambat or gulf of cambe region we know one river is river narmada the other river is river tapi but if the upsc will may ask you a question that tell the river from north to south or from in a clockwise direction which drain into the gulf of cambe north may river narmada and river tapi but you just don't stop here you will see there are two more rivers which are there one is river sabarmati which is to the north river sabarmati which originates from the aravalli ranges and there is a small river which is known as river mahi so one river is river sabarmati and the other river is river mahi a simple question can come name the four rivers which drain into the into the gulf of cambe region river sabarmati river mahi river narmada river tapi obviously river sabarmati lies in the is a river is an important river of gujarat it drains into the gulf of khambat mahi originates in the vindhyan ranges and then drains into the gulf of khambat but this is these are the not the things you should remember mahi originates into the gulf of khambat and uh, sorry originates in the vindhyan ranges and drains into the gulf of khambat after that we have river narmada and river tapi so the four rivers which drain into the gulf of khambat or the gulf of cambe you remember uh, is the sabarmati is the mahi is narmada is the tapi regarding narmada we have done sardar sarovar project indira sagar dam the largest water reservoir in india we have done the we have done the omkareshwar and the maheshwar dam which lies on the river narmada so these are the important things we have done regarding river narmada river tapi is an hand maiden where does it originate it originates in the betul district from a sacred tank at multai in the betul district of madhya pradesh on the satpura plateau region now it forms a boundary between mp and maharashtra and it drains into the gulf of khambat and flows between the satpura and the ajanta ranges these are the important things you remember about narmada don't burden too much yourself with the facts do the facts only which i am doing giving obviously 100% nobody in the world can predict 100% because but most of the questions can be covered from this lectures itself now one thing i want to ask you is what is the capital of gujarat the capital of gujarat is gandhinagar gandhinagar is the capital of gujarat on which river gandhinagar is located gandhinagar is located on river sabarmati gandhinagar is located on river sabarmati gandhinagar is located on river sabarmati so this is the important city important town you remember about tapi you about the sabarmati after that just let me revise what we have done we have also done some of the rivers which will which are inland drainage system in india which forms the inland drainage in india which forms a inland drainage in india let me let us revise what are the four important rivers which form a part of inland drainage most of the inland drainage drains into the gulf of most of the inland drainage drains into the gulf of kutch region so the important river or in the run of kutch this is great run if you remember this is the little run region the most important inland river of india is river luni the most important inland river of india is river luni the other important inland rivers are river banas river saraswati river luni drains into the great run then we have river banas river saraswati and we have a small river known as river ghaggar 
So the four rivers which form the part of an inland drainage in India, which form a part of an inland drainage in India, is the most important river is River Luni, which drains into the little run of Kutch. Then is River Ghaggar, which is a river of which state? Haryana. Don't confuse Ghaggar with Ghagra river of, of Ganga river system. Then is river Banas. Then is river Saraswati. Which are the two states mostly where the inland drainage system is, is concentrated. The, mo, the two states are generally the state of Rajasthan and the state of Gujarat. Obviously, it is also there in the, in the state of Haryana. But Ghaggar gets lost in the Rajasthan itself while the other river comes drain into the, into the, this other rivers come and drain into the Gulf of the, or in the, sorry, in the Rand region. Now, such are the rivers which do not drain the sea, which do not come and meet the sea. Such rivers are known as inland drainage or these are also known as ephemeral drainage. These are also known as an ephemeral drainage system. So the ephemeral drainage system in India consists of Luni, Ghaggar, Banas and, and the Saraswati river. Sorry, here there is a spelling mistake. It is ephemeral drainage system. If there is an ephemeral drainage system, let me refer to the spelling again. I am sometimes weak in spellings. So it is E P H E M E R A L, ephemeral or inland drainage system. That is the drainage system which does not meet the sea. So we have Luni, Ghaggar, Banas, and Saraswati. Out of which Luni is the largest river, which originates in the western part of the Aravallis, which originates in the Aravallis, which originates in the Aravalli mountain system. So that is about the. West flowing rivers of India, we have done the major west flowing, major east flowing rivers of India. And in the end, in the next lecture, I will revise what are the, how I will discuss one question yeah. where the UPSC can ask you not to south the west flowing rivers or not to south the east flowing rivers. So I hope that you are comfortable with river Tapi, river Narmada, river Godavari, river, River Kaveri, River Krishna, River Indus, River Ganga and River Brahmaputra. Do them in detail. Other rivers you are not required to do so much in detail. Whatever is there, I will cover it along with the along with the other. That is, if they are economically important, we will cover that. Okay. So, so till the time we meet again, thank you very much.